Chapter 3 Trust in the Lord My son, don't forget my teaching, but let your heart keep my commandments. For at length of days and years of life and peace will they add to you. Don't let kindness and truth forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. So you will find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in Yahweh with all your heart and don't lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He will make your paths straight. Don't be wise in your own eyes. Fear Yahweh and depart from evil. It will be health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Honor Yahweh with your substance, with the first fruits of all your increase. So your barns will be filled with plenty, and your vats will overflow with new wine. My son, don't despise Yahweh's discipline. Neither be weary of his reproof. For whom Yahweh loves, he reproves, even as a father reproves the son in whom he delights. Blessed is he who finds wisdom. Happy is the man who finds wisdom, the man who gets understanding. For her good profit is better than getting silver and her return is better than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies. None of the things you can desire are to be compared to her. Length of days is in her right hand. In her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasantness. All her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who lay hold of her. Happy is everyone who retains her. By wisdom, Yahweh founded the earth. By understanding, he established the heavens. By his knowledge, the depths were broken up, and the skies dropped down the dew. My son, let them not depart from your eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion, so they will be life to your soul and grace for your neck. Then you shall walk in your way securely. Your foot won't stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. Yes, you will lie down and your sleep will be sweet. Don't be afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it comes. For Yahweh will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being taken. Don't withhold good from those to whom it is due when it is in the power of your hand to do it. Don't say to your neighbor, Go and come again. Tomorrow I will give it to you when you have it by you. Don't devise evil against your neighbor since he dwells securely by you. Don't strive with a man without cause if he has done you no harm. Don't envy the man of violence. Choose none of his ways. For the perverse is an abomination to Yahweh, but his friendship is with the upright. Yahweh's curse is in the house of the wicked but he blesses the habitation of the righteous. Surely he mocks the mockers, but he gives grace to the humble. The wise will inherit glory, but shame will be the promotion of fools.